Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with the recap of Sunday games um, for NFL Week 7. Hard to believe we're in Week 7 already. Um, let's dive into it. Usually, I like to, all the games to finish on Sundays, um, but I'm not waiting for this one. I'm absolutely going to destroy the Cincinnati Bengals in this. The Cincinnati Bengals are a damn joke. Um, I'm stunned that they're going to be 4-3 and three after this week. Um, they're losing 45-10 with tw about 13 minutes left in the game. I cannot believe um, that he... Um, I, I just cannot believe that the Cincinnati Bengals suck this bad. Patrick Mahomes is literally laughing at them. Um, the Chiefs, they look like the team to be in the AFC at this time. Um... I re they do have the um, LA Chargers who are pretty good, and that you do have to take that into consideration. But I think the Chiefs are probably probably the team to beat in the AFC. Cincinnati Bengals are awful during primetime football, and I don't want to see them again on primetime football at all this year, especially on Sunday night football. They always suck on Sunday night football. Um, let's see. We we'll start with the games that already finished. Um, my the um my Tennessee Titans lose twenty to nineteen to the Chargers across the pond in London. I'm not for London games. I am not a big fan of it. If like Jacksonville wants to play one game a year in London, that's fine. But don't sit there and tell me you need four or five games in London per year. That's ridiculous. So anyways, um going for the Chargers. Let me talk about my Tennessee Titans real quick. Um I was happy from what I saw today from everything except the secondary a little bit. I thought our secondary could have played a little bit better. Um, a lot of people are talking about that decision um, Vable, um, Mike Vabel uh, made um, going for two um, for the win. I am absolutely fine with that decision. As a matter of fact, I'm not even pissed at my Titans loss because of that decision. Because I would ever see a coach go for the win. Just sit there and be like, oh, we'll go for the tie. That was why I couldn't stand about Mike Milwaukee. He wouldn't go for the win. He wouldn't. He'll be too conservative with his play, with the play calling. Uh, I mean, Mike Vrabel, he wants to win. So, and I like the tone he's saying. I don't care that we're three and four. We're in the AFC South. You really think I'm concerned about the Houston Texans? Please. Um, LA Chargers, um, good win. You guys look pretty good. I know. Um, you, Allen threw, threw kind of a tamper tantrum. Um, Phil Rivers should have looked um, and, and threw the pass to him, but who cares? You won. Um, and the Chargers, they look pretty good. Um, so, yeah. And by the way, the Titans, Mariota, um, he threw his first interception in the red zone in his career. And that was a bad spot to throw an interception in the red, in the red zone. So, I mean, it's not a big deal, but... It happens, but I am going. But I am happy with my Tennessee Titans. I thought we played much better than we did against the Ravens. Um, let's start with with the um, Patriots versus Bears. Patriots went 38-31. Big difference in this game with special teams. Patriots got two special teams touchdowns. Um, and that was probably the difference in this game. Bears threw a hill Mary at the end of the game, and the guy got tackled at like the one. So. They almost very well tied it. Um, well, at least got within one because extra points. Even the guaranteed kickers, um, even that they, they um, aren't guaranteed as we saw today. But good win for the Patriots. Um, Patriots will probably win. They're probably going to win the um, AFC East. I don't see the Dolphins win um, even competing with them. Um, Bears, hang in there. You're three and three. I do think people are overreacting about the Bears um, pregame of this because a lot of people picked this upset. I didn't have the guts to do it, but um, basically the Chicago Bears. I still think the Bears are at least a year out. Um, I talk to Bears fans all the time, um, and they think they're right there. I I tell them you guys are a year out and. One other thing, Mitchell Tobisky, good job running, running the ball, rushing the, the um, ball. Should be throwing the ball 50 times. So, And also, I don't think the Bears feel comfortable in a shootout as well. So that's what it came across to as me. But good win for the Patriots. Next, Bills versus Colts. Colts get their second win of the year, 36.
up to five. Colts are desperate for a win, and they got it. Uh, where do I start with this one? Um, Andrew Luck looked pretty good against a team that wasn't even trying. Um, and um, the offense looked good defensively. The Colts, I mean, high school defense could freaking stop Derek Anderson and the Buffalo Bills. Derek Anderson, my God. I, I know, I, I mean, he sucked in Cleveland. He sucked today. He's awful. He sucked in, I think he played with the Cardinals. He sucked there. He's awful. I mean, the Bills absolutely shit the bed today. Talk about the worst performance. Um, this Their performance was maybe worse than the Bengals. So, I am very... Um, I said the Bills are probably one of the worst teams in the NFL. And I'm going to stick to that statement. Yes, you beat two decent teams in, in the um, Vikings and Titans. And actually, a pretty good team in the Vikings. But... I mean, you guys can't, I mean, I, the Bills suck. I mean, that's why I went on a full-out rant about my Titans, because the Bills suck. You shouldn't be losing teams like the Bills if you're the Tennessee Titans. But this isn't about the Titans, um, but the Bills are bad. They really are. I know no, um, LeSean McCoy went out early. Um, it, it would not have been a difference. The Bills are just pathetic. But good win for the Colts. Um, I still don't think the Colts are a player in the AFC, but... You never know. Um, the Chiefs did a few years ago. Went one and five and turned it around. Went ten and six or something like that. Let's see. Lions versus Dolphins. Lions. The Detroit Lions went thirty-two twenty-one over the Miami Dolphins. Good win for the Detroit Lions on the road. Um, I picked the Lions for this one because uh, to me the Dolphins were all the most overrated team this year. They've gotten lucky in several of the wins. In my opinion, like against Chicago and against Tennessee and. Specifically, but the Dolphins, I, I mean, they didn't play awful. I know they're going with their backup quarterback. Well, one of their quarterbacks, because I can see Ryan Tannehill a backup quarterback because I don't think he's a legit starter in this league. And Brock Oswald played okay, um, but Matthew Stafford outplayed him. Detroit Lions um, rushing game, Kerry Ron um, Johnson. Played very well, 19 carries for 158 yards for the only point screen right there. Um, first time that Detroit has had back to back, um, had, had, uh, no, first time since 2000, I think, 8 that Detroit has had a um, two 100 yard um, rushers in a game. I mean, the Detroit Lions, I was a little bit skeptical about uh, the Matt Patricia, uh, the Matt Patricia um, hiring because I was like, Oh, Jim Caldwell was a good coach, um, but I mean, he, I, I don't, I mean, I still think Jim Caldwell will have won this game against Miami, but the Lions, they look like they're hungry, and they could be players in the eight, in the um, NFC North. There's not really a clear team yet in the NFC North that I could say they're going to win the division. So the NFC North, in my opinion, is wide open. Dolphins, um. Maybe you're a wild card team. I don't see it personally. I think the Dolphins are seven and nine team. I just feel like the Miami Dolphins are overrated crap. And to be honest, I'm not sold on your quarterback. Um, I know you want to trade um, K, K Dron Drake. Um, we'll see what happens there. But the Dolphins didn't surprise me at all today. Next, Vikings versus Jets. Vikings get the 37 to 17 win. I picked the upset. I said the Jets were going to win this. I was wrong. Um, the reason why I picked the upset because I thought the Jets with a two-game winning streak um, will come in with some momentum, and also I thought that the Vikings they had potential to not show up in games like this, but they showed up pretty well today. Um, Vikings offensively looked pretty good. I was a little bit surprised at the uh, about the um. Jets defense, I thought they would play a little bit better. Um, Jets offensively, they did what they could have done, but uh, the Vikings defense played pretty well in this one. I personally think that the um, Vikings are probably a playoff team. I don't know if they're winning the NFC North because we have that bad man and Aaron Rodgers, the Bears, and the Lions are also 3-3. Three three. So the NFC North is actually looking like a good division. Uh, not a good division, a great division this year. But we'll see what these teams to do. I still think the Jets are going to be six and ten, seven and nine. Um, they're going to win a few more games this year. Next, the Panthers versus the Eagles. 
Um, Carolina Panthers beat the Philadelphia Eagles 21-17, coming back down 17-0. Um, fourth quarter comeback. Um, Cam Newton looked outstanding in the fourth quarter. He looked outstanding. Um, Cam, like they used to sing the song like Cam, Superman, or like on NFL Network, um, the Cam song. That needs to be sing, sung today because. Um, that was an outstanding performance by Cam Newton. Um, Philadelphia Eagles, it's obvious that there's a Super Bowl hangover. Um, the good news is that the only team in your way is the Washington Redskins. And if you looked at the Washington Redskins <laughs> record lightly in previous years, um, for them to see, they're a laughing stock that when the season's on the line. So... The, the Philadelphia Eagles, I think, will be fine. Um, they got to get it together, though. Carson Wentz had a good game, but I think, a person I just think the Carolina Panthers, they really surprised me this game. I didn't think they were going to win, um, but good win for the Panthers. Eagles, I still think the Eagles are going to be fine. I really do. Um, the, offense, the team is too talented not to be. Um, the team is just too talented um, overall. I. Um, the Eagles are going to be fine. Panthers, we'll see what you guys do in the NFC South. Yeah, you, you have the um, Bucks who are three and three now. Saints are four and two. We'll see what you guys do. Actually, Saints are five and one. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Bucks versus Bra Browns versus Bucks. The Cleveland Browns and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay wins 26-23 in overtime on a 59-yard field goal. Uh, let's talk about this game. The Bucks, um, listen, I don't think the Bucks play their best football in this game, but they got the job done. I um, really think that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I, I think um, Dirk Cutter, if this team continues playing like they are, I think he'll keep his job because the Bucks look like an 8-8 eight and eight team out there. They're not um, bad, but they're, they're not terrible or bad, but they're not um, good, at, but they're not like great, so... I don't know um, what the Tampa Bay is going to do. They could sneak into the playoffs. I highly doubt it, though, especially in the NFC. Cleveland Browns really should be 2-5, and five, but they're 2-4-1. I don't believe in ties. I'm not going to get into that rant. Um, Hugh, Jackson, Hugh Jackson, I hate to say it, but he is. Pro people are saying how he's on the hot seat. Yeah, that hot seat is on fire right now. And the reason why is... You're two and five if you're the Cleveland Browns. Yes, you guys have won two games. Yes, you gotta give credit to Baker Mayfield for coming back in this one, down um, twenty-three to nine. But I mean, I'm telling you this right now. If you're a Cleveland Browns fan, um, expect the Cleveland Browns to have a top ten draft pick next year. I just expect it. I still think the Browns will win a few more games, but personally. Personally, I thought Hugh Jackson would just have to go 5-11 and 11 to keep his job because I think he's a good head coach. He just had no talent. From what I'm hearing, he has to go 8-8 eight and eight to keep his job, and I don't think the Browns are going to get there. I think they could, I think the Browns are a 6-10 and 10 team, and I think Hugh's out after this year, and we're gonna, it's going to be interesting to see who they hire for their head coach. But I think this is Hugh Jackson's last season, and it sucks because he has a rookie quarterback. He has a lot of excuses, Hugh Jackson, but they're not going to care, so... We'll see what happens, but the Browns, they, I mean, you, you wish they played a little bit better for Hugh Jackson. Nick Chubb had a good game, though. Let's see next, Texans versus Jaguars. Texans win 20-7. Um, the big story, the big story in this game was Blake Bortles, um, he got benched for Cody Kessler, and Cody Kessler outplayed him. Um, Texans won 20-7. to Um... Um, let's see. Um, well, oh yeah, Blake Bortles, in my opinion, to me he's not as bad as people think. I personally think that Blake Bortles in the playoffs, he made the throws that counted. Um, and I just feel like, um, people, he gets a bad rep. Um, but he did not, um, look good giving up two fumbles today. Texans are 4-3. They actually have the lead in the AFC South. And my reaction to it as a Titans fan who cares? You really think I'm scared of the Houston Texans? I mean, the only playoff wins are against the Cincinnati Bengals, who are notorious for not winning playoff games, and then the Oakland Raiders team with no Derek Carr. Are you kidding me? With Connor, uh, with Connor Cook as their quarterback? 
I mean, are you kidding me? You think I'm scared of the Houston Texans? Really? I mean, I'm. I mean, for me to, to if someone comment if a, if an AFC South um, fan of the Jaguars or the Tennessee Titans comments on this channel saying that they were scared of the Houston Texans and the AFC South, I am gonna make fun of you through the comment section. I'm just telling you that right now because you should not be scared of the Houston Texans. You should just not be scared of them. Um, Jaguars are banged up once they get healthy. Uh, I know Leonard Fournette's out. Once they, he once they um he gets healthy, the Jaguars I think will be fine. I think Blake Bortles will be starting next week. I know some people are like, oh Jaguars should trade for Teddy Bridgewater in New Orleans or oh Jaguars Jaguars should trade for Brock Osweiler once Ryan Tannehill gets healthy, which will be a bad idea for the Miami Dolphins to do. Um, or my favorite one, oh, the Jaguars should, should trade for Sam Badford because he is bad um, in the bad way. But I think the Jaguars are fine. Um, just a, just a um, game that you just wanted to like not think about if you're a Jaguars fan. Lamar Miller, he did rush for 100 yards. Good job by him. Um, let's see, Saints versus Ravens. Saints get the 24-23 to um, win. Um, the defense for the for the um, Ravens collapsed again, and I'm gonna be honest with you. John Harbaugh has to be on the hot seat, and the reason why is it's not because of the offense. I think Joe Flacco played great. I know, I know Lamar Jackson ran one in. John Brown looked outstanding. The defense is collapsing. The defense is not like that Ravens defense we used to see. Um, granted, they only gave up 24 points, but still, they collapsed. And I don't care if, about Justin Tuck for missing that extra point. The wind got that. I saw several replays of that. The wind took that ball. Um, it was very windy in Baltimore. I'm actually from Maryland. I was outside in it for a few hours um, this morning. Um, very windy in the Maryland area. I'm not concerned about Justin Tuck for missing that extra point at all. I don't think he'll get in his head or anything. First career extra point missed, though. And it was a huge one. So, you don't want that to happen. But all in all, good win for the Saints. Um, I said they were going to score 24 points. They did good. And let's we'll see what the Saints do. You have to lead in the NFC South. Ravens, I think, will be fine. And the reason why is you have the um, Pittsburgh Steelers, who I'm not sold on. And you have the Cincinnati Bengals. And we just saw what the Chiefs did to the Cincinnati Bengals. Granted, the Ravens do play the Chiefs. I would, like to see, I would like to see what the Chiefs do to the Ravens. But, I mean, it, the Cincinnati Bengals are just awful. They really are. I mean, not awful, awful, but, like, they're not that good. Next game, Rams versus 49ers. Rams, the LA Rams get the 39-10 to win on the road against the 49ers. Uh, 49ers should just go for a top five pick and then go, reboot and go next year when Jimmy Garoppolo is healthy at this point at one and six. Um, it sucks that he's um, it's, it really sucks that he is um, injured with a torn ACL. Um, because personally, the 49ers would probably probably be three and four if he was healthy. Um, and Richard Sherman has been out for a few weeks as well. Um, and that's also a problem. George Kittle did play a nice game, though. I know um, the 49ers are trying their hardest. Um, the Rams, though, they just rolled over them. The, they are the better team. They got the win. Um, not much to say about the Rams. They really look pretty good in this game. Next, um, Cowboys versus um, Redskins. Um, their last game, Washington Redskins get the 20-17 to win over the Cowboys. Um... The kicker, um, Mayer, his field goal, I don't know how long it was. It, it bangs, it went off the upright. Uh, um, not that good if you're a um, Cowboys fan. Adrian Pearson, I'm going to say this right now, though, about Adrian Pearson on a side note. He looks really fucking good for his age. Like, he could, he looks better than Frank Gore. Than, um, Frank Gore. Um, and Frank Gore has been a legit running back for a while. I think he retired, but... Frank Gore, he even his heyday with the um, not his heyday, even like on the back end of his career with the um, in the Apple's Colts, he looked pretty good. But Adrian Peterson, he could still watch for a hundred yards if he wanted to. 
Um, Washington Redskins, good win, but I don't trust you because I don't care about... Um, because, I, I mean, the, the Washington Redskins, in my opinion, they're a team that get, lets their emotions get in the way. And it, it's going to cost them to the Eagles, prob most likely, or the Cowboys. Probably the Eagles. But we'll see what happens. But I will say this. Alex Smith is playing well this year, so maybe a different quarterback. Um, maybe a um, different things. You won't have you like that. Um in your locker room. But anyways, that's my NFL recap for the Sunday games for week seven. Um, comment down below. Tell me if I missed anything. Also, please like and subscribe. And this is McGee the Beast signing off.